Tonight, books like the Bible and an illustrated version of Anne Frank's diary pulled from the library shelves in one Texas school district just as students are getting back to class. Open up your book and show Administrators me. of the Keller Independent School District in the Dallas-Fort Worth area told their schools to review a list of books after they were reported last year by parents or others in the community for what they viewed as concerning material. We need to have the conversations and it is, there's no simple answer. Other books that Keller ISD pulled this month, many titles that feature LGBTQ plus characters and one book by Toni Morrison. The books were moved into what district officials called a parental consent area until the challenge process is complete. But the timeline for that process is unclear. Last school year, such complaints were resolved by committees of teachers, administrators, and parents, and the books they approved were returned until this week. All of the books that had passed the challenge committees last spring were now being pulled back off of shelves because all of the outcomes were ultimately overturned. Lainey Haas is a Keller parent who was on the book review committee for Anne Frank's Illustrated Diary last school year. At the time, the issue becoming increasingly heated with parents on both sides sounding off at a school board meeting. Just because some parents don't want their children to read the heart-wrenching and eye-opening novel, The Cut Kite Runner, shouldn't mean that the opportunity is taken away from every child in the district. If they're allowed to read these explicit pornographic books that show nasty parts, whether it be heterosexual or gay, it shouldn't be allowed. Paul says the old system worked well, and she thinks the new process lacks transparency. There was a really great system, a thoughtful system put in place by the school district for us as a community to decide what to do with these books. And we did it, and we, we came to a conclusion, not only that, but a unanimous conclusion. And then this new school board came in and said, oh, well, we don't like your conclusion. Late last year, Texas Governor Greg Abbott told the Texas Education Agency to ensure pornography and obscene content were kept out of schools, though no clear definition of either term was provided, sparking a slew of new guidelines across the state, like those in Keller, where district officials told NBC News in a statement, these books needed to be pulled again for further review, that Superintendent Dr. Rick Westwall wrote to parents saying in part, I want to assure you that Keller ISD is not banning the Bible or the Diary of Anne Frank and that he anticipates those two books will be back on the shelves, quote, very soon. He went on to point out that employees have been attacked online and by phone over this issue, something parents like Laney say is not the answer. I don't think that our teachers and librarians and staff are to blame at all. All right, Stephen Romo joins us now. Stephen, it sounds like the parents were caught off guard and, and they're still a little confused. So what's happening now? Yeah, we asked for more information on this new policy. There's a lot of questions about it. They declined an interview, Keller ISD did, but they did send us a statement. I'll just read it to you. The parental consent area is a new concept with this policy, but it will essentially be a designated space for a book to be kept while it's under review from a parent challenge, essentially being in limbo until that review process is over. It's not clear how a parent would give consent for their child mm -hmm. to read this book. It's also not clear how long that review process will take. They just say they'll do it as quickly as possible. It could be a few days. It could be the entire school year. We just really don't know yet. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.